Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd do a quick layout video update since I haven't done one for a while. Um, I've gotten quite a bit done on the layout since I've done the last one, so we're just going to do a walk around here and get to it. So uh, we're looking at the staging yard here. This is lacrosse and portage. Um, portage is on this end. Lacrosse is on this end. Uh, it's double-ended, so the trains don't need to be turned in between operating sessions. I have done a couple um, sample, for lack of a better term, operating sessions with a couple of my buddies um, working out what works and what doesn't. So we're ha I'm halfway through uh, op session right now, which is why some of the car cards are turned and some of them haven't run yet. So that's the schedule I'm on right now. If you look out, I got the two wave rates at the bottom yet that need to be run. So, anyways, everything seems to be working. Like I said, we're tweaking some things. Um, biggest development is I started to do some scenery. Um, I'm laying now just ground cover at the moment. There will be some hills put in eventually and some gouges dug. Um, I just wanted to get some ground cover down so it didn't look like pink foam all the time. So this is Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. Well, the reason there's there's two different color ballasts. The gray color is the Milwaukee Road. It's their limestone ballast. The pinker color is the Chicago Northwestern granite that they used to mine out of Rock Springs. They called it Pink Lady because it looked pink. Um, when you're far away from it. It actually has a purple color to it when you're close. I grew up in Baraboo, which is right down the road from where they mine this stuff. So, anyways, um, so you'll notice cars are sitting here ready to go or have got dropped off already. I did add around the layout a couple cars spare, uh, periodically that they don't move during the op session. So, for example, these two Department of Defense cars, they stay here. They don't move. Um, and it's reflected on their car cards. Um, there's a box car down there that doesn't move either. But if you look here, see it says return empty to Fort McCoy. It tells you where it's going. It stays on the ramp track. So, anyways, if you're interested in the two trains running around are the uh, Olympian Hiawatha and the Morning Hiawatha. This is the Olympian. So, cows are populating the stockyard here. Uh, there's tanks set out ready to go into the army base there. So, anyways, we're making our way east around the peninsula to Camp Douglas. And again, I've put preliminary scenery down on Camp Douglas here. This will all have static grass, and like I said, I'm going to put some hills and valleys in also as we get to it but I just wanted to put some ground cover down a few of these buildings um, are woodland scenics built ups and they have lighting in them so uh, this general store this building and the post office and I have the kits to drill the holes through the bottom and light them. So I, here and in Boston, a couple of buildings are lit. So it's just again to add some variety. So in Camp Douglas here, remember the Chicago Northwestern inter has a crossover here. This track isn't powered; it's just there, um, going over the diamonds here. But the Milwaukee interchanges with them, and there's quite a bit of traffic that goes in and out. So those four cars are going to Wyville and these guys are going to Elroy excuse me these ones are going to Wyville the four over there are going to Elroy I'm geographically wrong I'm wrong and again you use two different colors of ballast because it's two different railroads and there's a stockyard over here so that's the extent of my I ran out of ground cover so I had to stop so Next up, if you'll notice, this is track's been painted. Um, 
we'll talk about that in a second. I did actually yesterday. I had to. I, I was this turnout was giving me problems, so I just ripped it out and replaced it. It was a combination of the turnout um, and the blue point. I think went bad. The switch in the blue point to switch the polarity on the frog. I think went bad, so I ripped that out, replaced it, and since I was doing it, I ripped out the switch and replaced it too. And after I installed it, this is where the frog wire is supposed to be soldered to, and I did that. And then there's jumpers that go underneath these ties over the frog. Well, that failed after I had installed it. So I said, forget it, and I just soldered a wire directly to the frog, and that's running down to the blue point. So now it's, it's bulletproof. Um, I love Atlas Code 50 track. 55 track, but I really hate it too. It's just it's finicky and it looks great, but there's some engineering issues that should have been addressed and they didn't do it and it's it's annoying. Uh, next up, this is New Lisbon. Again, not much has been done here yet. Uh, New Lisbon does have all the controls for the blue points installed, so um, I'll pull my button here back and forth. I switch my turnouts and that switches the polarity on the frogs and there's no stalling and things like that. So the yard is a working yard during an op session and again there's a couple cars that sit in here and don't move out of the yard just for operational interest. Um, so this is going to be what's next done is New Lisbon. If you'll notice right now I have little labels on the industries and I need to do panels for the front because when I scenic like over here you'll notice there's no labels it's because I took them all off and they're on the car card boxes but I need to do a diagram track diagram in each town so we know the operators know where to dump the cars so anyways again this is New Lisbon uh, let's see, new, or er, there'll be a couple more buildings. These white pieces of paper are where some more buildings are going. There's going to be a pool hall there. The coal tower is new. That's a 3D printed product I got on eBay. It's from, I think it came from China, but it's nice because it's not as big as the one I was originally going to use and it fits New Lisbon a little better. So, uh, and then. Boston again hasn't had much done to it. I added a couple cars and let's see this guy's lit this guy will be lit and this guy will be lit so and I have the controls and everything for those so and then we're back to staging so there's a couple of Frisco cars sitting there that I, I didn't have anywhere else to stick them so that's where they're sitting right now they don't actually run on the layout so, as far as what I'm using, let's talk about that for just a second here, just so everybody knows what I'm doing. I'm using Arizona Rock and Mineral Ballast. The Pennsylvania Gray, that's the Milwaukee Roads limestone color. Uh, the Chicago Northwestern Pink Granite, that's Pink Lady. And then in New Lisbon, there'll be this yard mix. Uh, and then I'll also add some Woodland Scenic cinders to that, to sprinkle in there. Um, most of the tracks off the main in New Lisbon will have that. The ground cover, right now before I st apply static grass, I start with this blend. Uh, so there's a, the brown color is a real sandy brown color on the pink foam because that's what the area is. It's very sandy. And then I put this earth blend on it and then I sprinkle some burnt grass on top of that and then there'll be static grass on top of that. The track color is this Krylon rattle can camouflage. The color is, where is it? Camouflage Brown 4292. Uh, that's a really nice color, I think, for the track. It looks good and, yeah, so. So anyways, that's their update for today. Like I said, I have, the whole peninsula is primarily scenic. And we're just working around for the rest of the layout. 
New Lisbon will be next. That one will take a little bit of time because of the. It's just got more track. So I'll spray the track first. Then I ballast. Then I paint the brown on the foam. And then I add the ground cover. That's just the order that I do it. Not everybody. Some people do the ground cover first and then the ballast. I think it just works better the order I do it. Oh, I did drop a couple more feeders over on some of the main lines just to get a little more continuity of power and it seems to work good. So that's the update for today. So hope everybody's enjoying the uh, 4th of July festivities. Um, yeah. So I'll shoot another video when I get New Lisbon done. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks.